What's going on everybody? Welcome back to LYH Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to make a shadow for any person you put into your rendering. So as you can see here, I have a nice rendering for school. This lady here, however, it looks like she's kind of floating, doesn't really belong here. So we're going to add a shadow to her to make her um, kind of grounded in the picture. So hopefully by the end of the video, uh, she looks a little something like this. Let's get started. All right, so after you have secured your PNG person into your drawing, like I placed this lady here, we're going to start making the shadows. The first thing we want to do is make a copy of her. Now you can either go right click on the layer that you want to copy and click duplicate layer, which is right here, or you can press the shortcut control J, which makes a copy of the layer below. Now we just want to flip this so that it's around the same size and uh, on the bottom here. And what you want to do is uh, make sure that it's entered. So what you want to do is go into edit, go into transform, and then flip this horizontally so that uh, her heels are touching her heels and her toes are touching her toes, right? We might want to, uh, you know, just manipulate it a little bit to get that effect. Um, you can also use the scroll wheel here. Just make sure that we get that effect of her heels and toes touching. All right, so now that you're kind of satisfied with what you got here, we're going to go into images, adjustments, and we're going to make this dark. So the, the, the way I like to do it is through hue and saturation and turning in the lightness all the way down like that. Um, and, and you also want to turn the opacity down a lot. So um, to like 50 or 60% is where I usually have it. Um, but depending on the, your picture, you can basically adjust it to anything that you think is the most realistic. Okay, so now we have a shadow for her but it doesn't look quite right. And the first thing we're gonna do to adjust this is um, adjust the perspective of it. Now you want to look at where the sun is coming from and how far the shadow goes in every picture to determine where you wanna drag your shadow, right? Um, in this case, the sun is coming from the top right. So you can see all the shadows from the bike, the plants and the railings are going down to the bottom left. So that's exactly what you wanna do with your uh, person, right? So this one, we're going to hold shift and then we're just going to manipulate this until we get a perspective that matches the plants and everything else in the environment around her. Um, I'm going to base it off the plants in the back as well as the people on the bike. Uh, so you can kind of see that it goes pretty far back this way uh, to the bottom left. So we're just going to um, drag this until we're satisfied with the image. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit enter there. And we're just going to make sure that the image is touched like that. So heel to heel, toe to toe. Now, a lot of the times you're going to find that some of these are not, they're just not going to work. So uh, when you adjust these shadows, uh, you get things like this, where the shadow doesn't really match up with the heel and the toe. Uh, you can simply just erase the parts that's extra, and then we'll deal with the, the missing part in a bit. Okay, and uh, one more thing that you want to apply to the shadow here is a blur. Um, now you can see on the bike one, it's really sharp and no shadow is really like that. So we're going to go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're just going to add a tiny, tiny blur. Make sure to not add too much. Um, yeah, I like to keep it around one just to have that fuzzy edge around it. Okay, now, so to finish this off, we want to add a contact shadow. If you go out in the world and you look at how shadows work, you'll notice that all of the things where they touch the ground, they also make a shadow. So what we're going to do is create a new layer um, on the bottom of our picture here. And it's just going to our brush, make sure that it is a little bit flatter. So you can drag the two circles up and down to make the brush flatter. Uh, we're going to turn the hardness to zero and the opacity down. And then make sure it's the same color as your shadow here. So in this case, uh, nice black for me. And all you're going to do is just paint. Just a little bit. That's a little bit too much. Just a dab. Okay, not too much. That's too much. Like that. Okay, so all you're going to do is make a contact shadow for the person. And now you can play with the opacity of the layer uh, to adjust the darkness and the brightness. But I'm just going to keep it somewhere around here. And you can also adjust the, the blending mode. I like to use hard light for a lot of these, but for this one, I think I'm just going to keep it on normal. 
So really it's up to you to kind of play around with uh, what you have to find the best shadow for you. Now if we zoom out, that looks a lot better than if we don't have the, oh, don't have the shadow and the um, contact shadow. So after we're done all that, we can simply just merge all these together, right click and uh, merge layer. And there you go. That's your person and the shadow. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave me a like, a thumbs up, and do subscribe to the channel for some future content. But I'll see you guys in the next one.